Okay, this video is going to go over the backup and restore functions and options in central administration. So pull up your server and go to your central administration site. Again, you'll see this big splash screen. You'll want to click on backup and restore. When you get there, it's going to have you two main bullet points for you. And the main one is farm backup and restore and granular backup. There's two options for backup and restore in SharePoint. Farm backup is backing up the entire farm, whether it's just the configuration or the configuration and content, you can go in and perform a full backup of your farm. I use the uh, perform a full backup. It, it gives you some useful information when you go into there to do that. Um, it gives you the actual total backup size. If you're doing the entire farm, click next. Or I guess I should actually, I'll use this as a, a quick, uh, demonstration here each of these little my, uh, tree view buttons here allow you to select components to back up so if you're working on a specific component or making some modifications to certain things or maybe you just want to back up specific uh, site collections like administration or the uh, where is it SharePoint 80 it should be in but usually what I do is just run a full backup of the entire farm. But you can you can choose which components you want to back up. And once you click next, it should take you to the page where it asks for the backup location. And it asks for, um, or it tells you the entire size of the farm. But what this is, is a full backup of everything in SharePoint. And it also gives you two options on the next page of whether you want to do a full backup which will be an entire new copy or a differential and to do a differential you need a full backup and then the differential will be smaller and it just updates the components that changed since the last backup pretty self-explanatory so if we go back to backup and restore because this is not wanting to cooperate and close that out so not only does SharePoint allow you to back it up but you can also restore from a backup and that lets you choose the backup file you want to restore from and you put in the path and then it lets you start the backup you can configure your backup settings here how many threads you want this is how much performance you want assigned to the backup timer job and the more threads the faster it will be done but the log files for backup and restore as it says here become more complicated with the more threads you have I usually, usually leave it at three, unless you have a ton of stuff and it's mission critical that you get it done sooner, you can do 10 backup threads, you know, up to 10. You'll also set, uh, set the backup location uh, here. So it'll be a UNC path, as you can see here, schwack, schwack, backup, SharePoint. Okay. So now let's go back to our backup and restore page. You can also view the backup and restore history, which will show you the list of backup jobs that have been done and what their status was. This is not going to tell us much because I haven't done any backups or restores yet. And then if you have one in progress, you can check that the status of that job here under check the backup and restore job status. As you can see, there's none that are in progress and, and there's nothing to do with that there. The other option you have for backing up in SharePoint is the granular backup. And if you know, just like the name says, granular means you can go in and specifically back up a specific site collection. You can also export a site or a list. So if you have a big long list that you might use in another department and you want to have that available to others, you can actually export that list or a site to a specific file or you can save it um, you also have the option to save those sites as templates so when you go to create a new site you can just select that template out of the list like i've shown you in other videos you can also recover data from an unattached content database what that means is that you can go into a, a, a sharepoint sql server take a um, one of the content databases there and unattach it go to a separate farm and attach it and then you can granularly sort through the data in that database and recover specific data that you want and then you can also check the granular backup job status so that's a quick rundown of everything you can do as far as backup and restore is concerned and like i said in the other videos we'll go into more detail but i wanted to kind of give you a, just an overview of all the options you have for backing up and restoring in sharepoint so hope that was informative be sure to check out our other videos